Hey, what's up athletes, how's it going? Welcome to this perfect home workout by CureFit. This is Raul here and in today's video, I will show you six amazing workout movements that all of you can perform from the comfort of your home. We'll be performing each of these exercises for 60 seconds, followed by 30 seconds breather. Having a yoga mat would make it easier for you to perform these exercises. So let's get started, shall we? The first one we're gonna begin with is a knee down push up. Remember, 60 seconds, right? I know it's a scale down already, but because we're doing a scale down, we're gonna make it up with the number of reps that we're gonna be hitting, all right? So keep your knees down, lean forward, keep your hands shoulder width, go down and up. All right, so that's the movement. In case you wanna add a little scaled up version for this, you can do a plyo, all right? Explosive movement, okay? Just add one or two in between, that's fine. All right, so let's get going for 60 seconds, guys, in three, two, and one, go for it. Try to go as many reps, unbroken. And as you come up, you breathe out, keep that core tight. Head slightly leaning forward, all right. Okay, let's add a little bit of plyo as well. Doing well. Come on, back to normal. Oh, I can feel that burn already on, your, on the chest, your arms as well, the shoulders. Come on, come on. Good job, guys. Keep going, keep going. Last 10 seconds. Come on. All right, three, two, and we are done. Whoa, okay. How many of you out there not feeling that burn? I'm totally feeling this burn. This is amazing stuff. Okay, so that was the first one. Next up, from the upper body, we're gonna transition to the lower body, air squat. For 60 seconds, how many reps, right? So first, focus on form. Keep your feet shoulder width, chest upright, push your hips back, squat down and up. All right, now if you add, if you wanna add a little bit of plyo element, jump. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing, guys. 60 seconds, you ready? Let's get going in three, two, and one. Breathe out on top. As you sink down into that squat, make sure that your core is braced, you pull that rib cage down, your knees and your knees and your toes tracking in one line. Make sure you do not lean overtly forward. How about a little bit of jump squats, right? To up that intensity. Breathe out on top. Good job, guys. Come on. Okay, regular version. Nice work, nice work. Working a lot on your quads, your glutes, butt ties, right? 10 more seconds, doing really well. Last four, three, two, and we are done. Okay, wow. Upper body done, lower body done. We're still gonna focus on the lower body with some lunges. All right, so how do we do this? I'll show you from the side. Step forward and back. Step forward and back. Important that you keep your torso straight throughout. All right, let's begin, guys. Go for it. Now, this is the alternating lunges. If you wanna add that intensity, you can go for jump or plyo lunge, okay? But make sure your technique is solid because that's paramount. That's important, all right? I'm back to the regular alternating lunge. Still working on your butt, still working on your thighs, your hamstrings as well. And because you're gonna be balancing, you're just gonna be stable on one leg at a time, that really ups that challenge quotient. Keep breathing, guys. Doing 
doing well. Last 10 seconds, come on. Almost there, five, four, three, two, and we are done. Okay, excellent stuff. So we're done with the push-up, we're done with the squat, the lunges. Now let's focus on full body conditioning. And what better than burpees? Good old burpees, everybody loves to hit them. I love it, and sometimes I don't like it that much as well, but that's how we do, right? Just take a look at how we perform this. You wanna lean forward, palms down, extend your legs, drop your body, push, jump up, and hands overhead, that's one rep. Look at that combination of movements, right? Calorie torture, guys. So, uh, one whole minute of this, 60 seconds. If you wanna scale it down, all you gotta do is step, step, down, step, step, and a little jump. All right, let's get going. 60 seconds. Go for it in three, two, and one. That's one rep. I'm gonna take a little slow at the beginning. That's two, come on. You can go faster than me, or you can stick with the pace that I'm going at, or even slower. As long as you keep moving, that's fine, guys. Heck, I even lost count now, <laughs> but that's okay. I just wanna make sure I keep moving for one whole minute. And the breathing, right? You just keep breathing throughout the movement, Good job, come on, keep going. Come on, last 10 seconds. Let's try to get in a few more. One more before we finish. Three, two, and we are done. Finito with this one as well. 30 seconds breather. Wow. All right, done with that full body explosive movement. Next up, it's gonna be an isometric hold for the core and your spinal stability. We are going to do plank, elbow plank, all right? Now, we're gonna hit this for 60 seconds. It is a challenge in itself, guys. Let me show you how it's done. You get into a push-up position first, right? Then you drop your elbows, and you make sure that your hips are not too low or not too high. Straight line from back, upper back to the ankle, and that's how you is your plank, all right? If you wanna scale it down, get into a high plank. You wanna push your shoulders a little forward and pull your rib cage down and hold that steady. All right, let's get going, guys. For one minute in three, two, and one. And keep breathing, guys. Come on, spread out your palms, elbows in line. Put your shoulders, your upper back slightly rounded over here because you're pulling that rib cage down. And I love this because it not only works on your frontal abdomen, it works on your back as well, the complete core, right? Good job, guys, come on. Hang in there, hold that plank. focus it's all about controlling that that you know you want to drop your hips off right you don't want to do that you want to control that last 10 seconds guys come on five four three two and done okay excellent stuff guys we're gonna take that 30 seconds breather and then we're gonna hit the last one all right before we move into the last movement, I invite you onto the CureFit app and try out our CureFit Live. Here you can work out with more trainers like me who will guide you in your journey to your perfect body, endurance, or goal. If you download the app through the link in the description and first comment, you'll get a free access of 14 days. All right, last one, guys. We're gonna do some leg raises, but with hip thrust, all right? So what's your leg raises? You keep your palms down, the lower back, touching the ground, from there, and lift your legs, and then thrust your hips upward. All right, so let's do this, guys, for 60 seconds. Remember, this is the last one. We're gonna finish strong. Okay, get ready. For five seconds, four, three, two, and one. 
leg raise and hip thrust. That's one, two, you can keep your knees slightly bent as you lower your legs, but you wanna lower your legs in control so that you focus the movement on your lower abdomen. Breathe out on top. Good work. You can keep your head slightly above the floor. Come on guys, doing well. Keep going, keep going. Ten more seconds. Last five. And we are done. Whoa, those abs are on fire. Lit, guys, lit. All right, so that brings us to the end of these movements. The perfect home workout targeting the entire body. The chest, your legs, body, full body conditioning and your core as well. Phew, that was intense. I hope you guys are feeling the burn. Add this to your own personal playlist and come back and do this workout four to five times a week for a month. You can repeat the rounds of the workout and perform three to five rounds to increase that intensity. If you worked out for four to five days continuously, take at least one day off. You could probably go cycling or jogging. Ultimately, it's all about connecting with your body and responding to what it is telling you. If you feel fatigued and have soreness, it is definitely all right to rest on that day and focus on rest and recovery. Today's workout is strength-based and I would recommend that your protein intake should be on point. This will help you in recovering your muscles and will get you ready for the next session. Stay tuned to our CureFit YouTube channel, like the video, share it across with your friends and family, save the video either in Watch Later or create a new personal playlist. Subscribe to CureFit channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us.